floater. It seemed like you had to fling it as high as possible, but just to take me through the play. Uh, yeah, I had to get it up there. Um, but uh, I know they was, you know, preaching the whole game. Um, I can hear that bench saying, you know, for uh, Gobert to take a charge um, with the contact I was going towards the basket. So um, I just saw a play where he was, you know, playing the drive um, as if I was going to go towards him again. And I saw a little gap that I had to shoot a floater. Um, it's a shot that I work with, so just thank God it went in. <laughs> when you work on it, Paul, do you have to, do you shoot it that high? Uh, I, I mix it up. I mix it up. You know, sometimes I envision it's a shorter guy. And sometimes I envision it's a taller guy. Um, so I mix it up a little bit. Paul, you're down two in overtime, and you break out a windmill. What was uh, what was the thought process with going with that one? Well, oh, that was a statement. That was a statement. Just let them know my legs is fresh. You know, it's gonna be a long, long OT uh, for that opposing team. Speaking of that, you played 50 minutes. We were just looking at it. You had zero turnovers tonight. How, with just as much as you have the ball, how much you're carrying, how were you able to be so efficient with the ball tonight? Uh, I was just in a good rhythm. You know, just a good rhythm, trying to find and make the right plays. Um, you know, it was just one of them nights. You forced them into 24 turnovers. Just how big of an impact was that on the game? Uh, I mean, that was the game. You know, we squeezed by. And, um, you know, we turned them over. Uh, we pretty much took care of the ball, so um, that was that was the game. Paul, how did you um, hit a three-pointer at the end of regulation? Oh, oh you did. Um, when Russell hit you with the pass, it was similar to the play against Brooklyn when you mentioned pump fake for man and went by you. Is, is there confidence knowing that you guys can run some of the similar things you run in other games and still execute it the way you did tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... It's just tough action uh, with me and Russ in it. Um, nobody can stay in front of Russ, and I can shoot over if they switch. So um, it's, it's, it puts a lot of team in, in a confusion of whether they should switch, whether they should stay home, whether they should show. Um, so it's good action for me and Russ. Well, we're at the point now where you can, you can like rank your game winners. Where can we put them? Um, I don't know. You know. I don't have many of them, so uh, they all look pretty good. Is it more meaningful to hit a game winner against this team? Um, no, I mean, we, we just need these wins. Uh, I mean, that game winner wouldn't have happened. Uh, the guys, uh, you know, didn't make big shots. Jeremy made a big three. Um, Abdul made a big three. I mean, those guys put, put me in position to win this game. Floater wouldn't have happened, man, if those dudes didn't make you know, those big shots that we needed. Because I went cold there for a minute, and um, those dudes stepped up. Cole, well, what do you think it says about this team and where, and where they've come from when you can have guys like Terrence and Russell foul out in the overtime periods and still be able to win? Like I said, man, everybody stepped up. Um, again, JG making that three, um, Abdul making that three in the corner. I mean, those, those are the plays that we need. Um, that we, we need those guys to have confidence coming down this stretch. Um, and then going into playoffs, you know, we need guys to be able to make big plays regardless who's out there for us, um, and who's on that floor. Um, and those dudes stepped up. They stepped up in that moment. Anybody else? Three, they're trying to trap you. What does that do for you throughout the rest of the game, not just in, in that game winner when as soon as they try to trap you, suddenly you're having a bunch of other guys hit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <clears throat> when they make plays, they make shots. The team, they can't trap anymore. Um, you know, we ran that play twice. And, um, you know, they, I should have kept it, but I passed it on the second one again to Dennis. Um, but it, it just raised the alertness of the team, um, the other team. And uh, when, those go, when those guys make the shots, they make the plays. They just can't trap, they can't double team anymore because they feel that, that their, their guy is going to make the shots and going to hit the shots. So it just opened the game up, I think, for myself. And then still, if it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, um, it's in my favor. And I can still make plays for myself or create for somebody else. Thanks,